Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. Burkholder and I'm back to talk with you guys more about frogs and toads. So last video we did talk more about their life cycle. So everyone should remember what these are called. Do you know? Frog spawn. So these are the eggs and you know tadpoles actually um, when they lay eggs, they lay eggs more in a line rather than a clump. Like these ones right here are more of in a clump. So those mean, those are uh, frog eggs, okay? So once the frogs hatch, they become a tadpole, okay? Um, here you go, we have this little guy right here, and we know that he has gills, so he can breathe underwater. Okay, and he's developing a little bit more. Here he has his back legs. There, I believe it looks like he's starting to get his front legs there, and then here, they're more developed, okay? All right, once the frog loses its gills and develops his lungs, he becomes a froglet. And here you go, you can see him right here. And then, he becomes a young frog, all right? And then here would be the adult frog. Awesome. So now that we are finished talking about the life cycle, we are going to dive into more of the differences between a frog and a toad. All right, so let me see if I can share this with you. All right, so differences between frogs and toads. So frogs have slimy, moist skin and big eyes. Their eyes kind of bulge out a little bit more. Toads have dry, bumpy skin. So who do you think could jump the furthest? Hmm. Think about the parts of a frog that we discussed. Toads have shorter legs than frogs. This is giving you a little bit of help. Frogs is the answer. So frogs, remember their legs are longer in the back and they use them more for jumping and toads kind of walk around. They don't jump as, as much as frogs do. So frogs need to live near water to survive, where toads are more likely to be found on land and sometimes in gardens, which you guys remember the story that I told you about in my garden. So are you guys ready to play a game? We are going to play a game to help us figure out if this is a frog or a toad. Okay, so the first one, what do you think? Frog or toad? Let's look at the picture. Hmm, where's he at? Look at where he's at. Um, look at his skin. Let's see, think? All right, let's see if you're right. It's a Fowler's toad. So this guy is a toad, you can tell. He has that bumpy skin over here. That gives it away, and he's not in the water. All right, let's look at this guy. Frog or toad? He's a bullfrog, yep. We have, look at those big bulging eyes there, and then he's really slimy, and you can tell he's in the water. So that's our bullfrog. Next one. Okay, this one's a little bit trickier. Go ahead and think about it. All right, this is a pickerel frog. The reason why I said it was trickier because his dots kind of look like bumps, but they are, he's still slimy. You can see that light reflecting off of him because he's so slimy, okay? Next, and this will be the last one. You guys think about it. Is this a frog or a toad? And this is the Eastern American toad. So you can tell here he isn't in the water and he's, he's got lots of bumpy, dry skin. So good job, guys. I'm really, really impressed um, with how much you guys have learned and how much you know about frogs and toads already. Um, I will keep you guys posted about Mrs. Mishler's frogs and we'll continue to watch them grow. So great work.